Hello YouTube! Today in the Naughty Librarian I am doing a recap of the Pasadena Loves YA Book Festival. I got so many books! This is only half the books I got, but I got so many books! So in case you were unfamiliar, the Pasadena Loves YA Festival happens every year at the Pasadena Public Library here in the Los Angeles area. They have uh, lots of authors and they do panels all day. You can meet your authors, you can talk to them. It's really low key so it's you could actually have conversations with them which is really nice. At the end of the day they had a, a book blast so essentially they just had like, like a couple hundred books out and they're like okay get in line and, and when you get to the table you could just take a book. Whatever book you want, you can just take, take it. And if you want another book, just get in line again. You can just keep going around and around. And I was like, well, I'm gonna keep going around and around until you tell me I have to stop. So I got like seven free books. <laughs> it's a little crazy, but at, some, at a certain point, I was in line so many times, she's like, just, just take as many as you want. So <laughs> I wore them down. <laughs> they also gave out these like little fans, say, I heart Pasadena loves YA. And these come in handy because it is very warm when I have my filming lights on. And now I have like a thing I can fan myself with forever. Or at least until it breaks because it is a piece of paper on a stick. <laughs> There's not a lot of technology involved here. Anyway, I just want to do a book haul wrap up of all the cool books I got. And let's just start off with the free books and then we'll move on to the books where I actually met the author and got the book signed. First in the free books is The Evil Within by Nancy Holder. Essentially it's about this girl at this like boarding school and all the girls there are like possessed by evil spirits. You know, like they do. Next up in the free books is Firewalker by Josephine Angelini. I think this is about a girl who can like travel to other dimensions and there's like more of her and then she got back to her dimension but like another one of her is like evil. I think. Um, mind you, I have not read the series, but it was free. It's got a pretty cover. Next up is Angel Fire by L.A. Weatherly. And really, I got it because the spine is so pretty. <laughs> like, it has all that gold filigree. That's mainly what I saw when I picked it up. Next up of the free books is Rotters by Daniel Krause. It's about this boy who goes to live with his father who he's never met. And I assume... Uh, his father is some type of grave robber. I don't know if there's a paranormal element or he just like digs up bodies for some reason. <laughs> Next up in the free books I have In the Afterlight by Alexandra Bracken. This is book three of the Darkest Minds trilogy and it is a trilogy I have been wanting to read for so long. I want to read the Darkest Minds because it's supposed to be really really good. It's basically about these kids and they have like powers and then the government's like, mean to them. <laughs> but like, better than how I'm describing it. Next up in the free books, I have Blood Witch by Amelia Athwater Rhodes. And I'm not necessarily sure what this is about, but I saw the word Blood Witch and I was like, you had me at Blood Witch. <laughs> Don't need to know anything else. Next in the free book series, I have Twin Maker by Sean Williams. I think the idea behind this is that in the future you can get a new body made that's like to your specifications you desire. So I guess like, oh, I want to be three inches taller with like bigger boobs or something. And they're like, got you. And they build a new body, uh, hence a twin maker. And um, somehow that's evil because it's a dystopian, I'm pretty sure. The last free book I got was Icons by Margaret Stoll. And this one seemed kind of cool. I think it's also a dystopian. Uh, it takes place in LA because that's the Griffith Observatory. That is the downtown skyline. And hey, I live in LA. Let's, let's read this. I think it's about these girls in another dystopian world where like you can't feel things because the government says it's bad and then they like feel stuff. <laughs> I'm sure it's more complicated than that, but that's what I think it's about. Okay, let's get into all of the books I met the authors for today. First up in the signed books category, I have A Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. 
and it is about a girl who is uh, a princess and she is sent to another kingdom to marry a prince except she falls in love with the prince's sister so that's kind of a cool twist and she signed it it says to amanda burn brightly so that's pretty cool um oh and she drew little stars i didn't even know she drew so many stars all over it's a little gold star <laughs> oh audrey you're adorable next up i have the library of fates by aditi karana so funny story about aditi karana the last study of zafra romina russell Aditi Karana was there and I saw her and I was like, oh, I should, I should go get her book so she can sign it for me. And then I lost her and then I was like, should I stalk her through the store and see if, if I can find her somewhere? And then I decided against it because it's super creepy to do that. And then luckily she was at this event. So I got to meet her this time, which was far less creepy than stalking her through a bookstore. And she also signed the book, which is very nice. So hi Aditi, I'm glad I didn't stalk you. <laughs> Next up, I have Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers, and she described it basically as French nuns in the Middle Ages who were also assassins, which, <laughs> you know, for teens, <laughs> um, which sounds like a ridiculous concept, but somehow it kind of works. Like, I, I'm very fascinated by this. And she also signed it, but her, like, handwriting is so, like, close to, like, the, like, the font they use that, like, I can't tell always. <laughs> it, took me a, it took me a while to figure out where she signed it. She wrote, which are you, sheep or wolf? And then she signed it and, but yeah, her signature and her like handwriting is very similar to that. So she's got fancy calligraphy. Next signed book I got was Want by Cindy Pond. I have been so excited to read this book. I wanted to read it for quite a while now and I just hadn't picked it up yet. And luckily I picked it up today and I got to meet Cindy Pond and she is an adorable person and she's very funny. She signed it, it says, Amanda, books aren't afraid to show you the truth. And this one is very cool. It's kind of like cyberpunky, and I don't know. I'm very excited. This looks amazing. It tastes like in Taipei. I mean, just look at the cover. The cover is just gorgeous. Ugh, I want to read this so bad. As for swag, she actually gave me this cool little art print from what? Um, yeah, it's just really nice picture. It's really cool. It's like great art. So there's also that for swag. The next signed book is A Map for Wrecked Girls by Jessica Taylor. And she was very nice, and she had a cool stamp that she had made for her book. So she stamped it, and I guess uh, August 15th was the release date of the book. So that was neat. I've never seen an author who had like a stamp made, so that was, that was like an interesting thing. The next signed book is Pasadena by Sherry L. Smith. Actually, Sherry Smith was like so funny in person. She was the, just so hilarious. She made a joke about palindromes, and I laughed really loud above everyone else. So she's like, oh, well, someone else likes my palindrome joke. I mean, I was also an adult at a YA book festival, so chances are I was the only one who knew what a palindrome was. But that is neither here nor there. Pasadena is a murder mystery. It's about this girl whose best friend is found dead in a pool, and her family thinks it's an accident. All of her friends think it was a suicide, and our main character thinks it was a murder. So she tries to solve the murder. And it seems really interesting, and she said it was like um, a noir kind of story, so that seems really interesting. So I'm really looking forward to getting into some characters who are like morally ambiguous, because it was really fun. The next signed book is The Evaporation of Sophie Snow by Mary Weber. And this is about a girl who um, her little brother is abducted and she assumes it was done by these aliens whose ice planet is now orbiting Earth. So <laughs> that seems really cool off the bat. I'm like, ice planet around Earth and there's aliens and like abductions and that seems kind of fun. And she also signed it and she drew me a little rocket ship. <laughs> so that was adorable. So she's very nice and I have this book and I can't wait to read it. The next signed book is The Ones by Daniel Swearen Becker. And this is about, uh, in the future, I have, there's like a, the 1%, I guess, uh, are chosen to be born with like genetic modifications. So like they're stronger, they're prettier, they're smarter, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And they're like the chosen people because they've been made fancy. And then um, there's a big divide between the ones and then those who are just born naturally. So it's kind of dystopian, 
society thing. The last signed book is The Nerdy and the Dirty by B.T. Gottfried, and he also signed it at the bottom right there. This seems like a really interesting book. It's about this girl who's very popular, and she kind of is surrounded by people she doesn't really trust, so she feels very, like, alone, and then she gets stuck with this guy who is very nerdy. We described him as kind of a guy who's like a little bit on the spectrum and then they get together and they realize they're like attracted to each other. So it's kind of like a weird love story. That was my wrap up of the Pasadena Loves YA Book Festival. I recommend everybody checking it out. They have a Facebook page, they have a Twitter, and probably Instagram as well. I didn't look that up before I started the video, but I believe it's like at Pasadena Loves YA. Uh, so please look them up, check them out if you live in the Los Angeles area. It is a great book festival. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, and if you would like to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And that's all for now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!